John Congemi here with Wide Out, Leonte Carew. And Leonte, I know it's disappointing, uh, the Green Bay loss, but you got a couple opportunities, not only on offense, but on special teams. Take us through, uh, the ball found you in Lambeau Field. Uh, yeah, you know, um, my number was called a couple times, so, you know, uh, that's the, the beauty about this team, uh, next man up mentality. And uh, a lot of guys, you know, been stepping up all year, and uh, I feel like, you know, uh, yesterday was a great opportunity for me to step up with Jakeem and Devontae, who's been doing a great job for us all year getting hurt. And, um, you know, I was able to catch a nice pass on offense and also uh, make a couple plays on special teams. So, you know, uh, I would have rather the win, but, you know, um, it, was a, it was a confident boost for me to play well. When you're at that up-back position on special teams, take us through the mindset. You don't want to give it away with your eyes or, or give it away with your excitement. Uh, how do you approach that and... What's the jubilation feel like after it's successful? I mean, uh, you have to know it's fourth down. So th that's the first thing is fourth down. Your number's called. You got to get this play for your team. Uh, my number was called. So, you know, I went out and I made a, a great play. Thank, you know, thanks to the punt team. They did a great job not selling it. They blocked well. We blocked up front. And, uh, you know, I was able to get, you know, positive yards on it. And, um, you know, Rizzy put his hands in me and, and trusted me and, uh you know, I just, you know, made a great play thanks to my teammates. You had to be patient. Now your number is going to be called over the last probably six weeks mm -hmm. of the season. Take us through what you're thinking about, how excited you are for the opportunity, and what you're looking forward to most because you have been putting in the work at practice. I'm very excited. You know, um, I feel like, uh, you know, being put on practice squad, you know, definitely prepared me for this moment. You know, it humbled me. Uh, it got me better as a player going against the first team defense, going against guys like X and Bobby McCain every single day. You know, uh, it prepared me for this moment. And, you know, as soon as I got in the game yesterday, my first play was a was a 20 yard catch. You know, I feel like I'm I'm ready. I'm focused. I'm I'm prepared for this moment. And I, I just can't wait to go out there and and play and show, you know, this staff, this organization on why they drafted me. I know you're going to have some downtime now with the bye week, but does your approach change a little bit because you haven't been playing a lot? Do you maybe keep the gas down and, and continue to keep it on, or will you take a few days off? I'll definitely keep the gas down. You know, um, I feel like uh, the way my body is, the, the way I am as a player, I need to, you know, definitely keep 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 the gas on. I don't I don't want to gain 30 pounds over the next bye week, <laughs> so you know I'm going to be working out every single day. Uh, you know, definitely take your mind off of football a little bit. You know, probably won't watch film as much, but definitely as far as cardio and conditioning, definitely keep the gas on. Well, keep it going for yourself. Get, when you get those opportunities, get a W in a couple weeks at Indy. Absolutely. You know, um, it would be great for uh, this team to, you know, just regroup, refocus, and then come back and, and focus on being 1-0. Well, thanks for your time, buddy, and good luck to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You got it.